Hi, my name is Dinus Mickle, and this is a quick video with the first intention being to show my clients how to upload files to their personal space um, on my server so that we can um, work on their profitable virtual and physical business integration. Now, anybody can uh, look at this video. I have this out on YouTube because it's also just a basic uh, introduction to how you can download and install an FTP program and then how you can use that FTP program to upload files of virtually any size um, to a server space. So um, for my clients uh, you will have received an email and you'll have a host name, a username, and a password. Now, if anybody's watching this video and you're going to try to go in, um, by the time this video is uploaded to YouTube, this host name, username, and password, they're going to be gone. So they're not going to exist anymore. Um, so you have that information. And um, a little bit of comparative information is you can certainly use a service. Um, you send it is a great online file sharing, large file uh, sending um, uh, utility or, or software tool. Um, they've got a, a, a ton of people using it. I think they just, uh, if, you, if we wait just one more of these little um, messages here, it'll say something like they had you know, 314,000 new users last month. So it's a good service. Um, however, the pay-per-use options can see up to two gigabytes, unlimited downloads, and a 14-day expiration, premium delivery, costs $9.99. Um, if you're one of my uh, profitable virtual and physical business integration clients, um, we are certainly going to circumvent uh, these types of file transfer fees um, as valuable a service as you send it is. So, you know, for me, you don't need to use you send it, but if you ever need to collaborate with a graphic designer or a programmer or you're, you're, you know, you're, you're sharing large files, you send it may be a great option for you. We're going to go to, um, we're going to use something called an FTP program. And just, I typed in best free FTP program, but you'll see it's FileZilla is, is uh, what comes up. Um, there are lots and lots of FTP programs and you may already have one on your system. Um, let's go to, but you know, FileZilla is a free FTP solution. It works and we're gonna use it for the purposes of this demo. So here I am at FileZilla-Project.org and I went over to the, you know, um, to the download link here under FileZilla, download. I'm not using FileZilla server, I'm using regular old FileZilla. And here's where you can choose your operating system, Mac OS, Linux, Windows. Um, and you can download it and install it. If you need help with that and you're a client of mine, um, you can talk with me about it. In general, you know, get somebody local to help you out and, um, and make sure that your system at home is, is, is set up that you start um, getting familiar with installing software and, and, and using it. So just being only a user is a little bit tough. You can do that if you want, um, but being able to download and install applications is a fairly, fairly simple process. And um, if I click here on FileZilla documentation, you can see the first link is installation on Windows. Um, let me see what it said. Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. All right, so this is how to install FileZilla itself. Follow those instructions or use another FTP client. I have FileZilla installed here, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the information that you would have had emailed to you. I'm going to copy the username. You can see host. The email says host name. FileZilla says host. The email says username. FileZilla says username. That's good. The email says 
I wonder if that little minus is a part of the uh, and, and I'm not even gonna see yeah okay it looks like that little minus is there um, okay so that's the remote site um, I didn't set this one up yet sometimes you might yeah, I might put a directory in here called big files but if you're in you're in it doesn't matter we're sharing files um, let me go ahead and save this little password thing let's see big file so I saved it as big file and I'm gonna go ahead and upload that quote-unquote big file hmm I'm seeing the files little might not have the uh, the best file searching tool but anyway big file there's my big file I wonder if I can just drag and drop it from the um, from my finder that would be nice I can oh good I don't have to find it here so in the FTP uh, FileZilla program on the left side here you see local site on the right hand side you see remote site I think you might be able to switch that um, in your local site, you know, sometimes you really have to search around in here, but it looks like, and that's really nice, it looks like you can just search your computer. I'm using a Mac right now, big deal. Search your computer, find the file you want to upload, and take it and drag it in to either the actual directory, if it says something like big files, you know, we can agree on where you want to put your files, but that's how you FTP a file into um, into our personal space for sharing large files. So um, if, uh, if you're a client of mine, I hope that this got you through. And if you're not and you're just learning and moving along and this was able to help you, um, you can check out uh, my various uh, business offerings and uh, helpful um, Helpful videos and and uh, content <laughs> um, online, and um, and I'm really here to help. So take care and do good work. Bye bye. Thanks.